Hi everyone, welcome back to Royal Logos. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I will demonstrate you that how we can save time and design an effective logo with the help of ChatGPT. So let's continue with the design brief. First of all, we have the logo name, which is Keto Prime. Then there are other details like brand services, target audience. But the most important part is the personal preferences. And the client says that he is looking for anything that represents the sense of transformation, change or conversion. Now we will simply switch to chat GPT and write our phrase, which is logo design ideas that represent transformation, change or conversion. And chat GPT will provide you with multiple ideas. You can also regenerate the response to get something new. And you can see that it won't only give you the idea, but also the logical reasoning behind it. And to design our logo, I have selected these points. I also added another point as it also represents the change or transformation. You can see that we extracted these points within few minutes. This is how artificial intelligence can help logo designers to save time and generate effective logo design ideas. So by keeping these points in mind, let's continue with the sketching process. After experimenting with different designs on the piece of paper, I shared these design concepts with the client. The client was leaning more towards the phonics design and my preference was the butterfly. But we have to follow the instructions of the client, as he owns the brand, not me. So I defined the idea of the phonics design. Now let's continue with the vectorizing process of this design in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, we will set the artboard dimensions. Select the units to pixels, select the width to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Then go to advanced and select the color mode to RGB. And to place our image on this artboard, simply go to file and select place. Select the destination where you have saved your image and simply select it. And then place it like this. Then reduce the value of opacity to 30%. Go to Windows, select Layers, simply select this drop down menu and lock this layer by clicking on this icon. And to continue with the design process, first of all we will select the pen tool. We doesn't need the fill, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and apply it a stroke color like this red color. Then apply the value of stroke width to 10 points. And now let's follow the geometry of this sketch. To remove this curved line, simply left click on this anchor point. And to complete the shape, simply press enter. Then select the selection tool and we will duplicate this shape by holding down the alternate key. Then go to reflect tool and simply select vertical axis. Again select the pen tool, click once at this anchor point and continue with the design process. Again to remove this rounded curve, simply left click on this anchor point. This part is completed. And now let's draw another shape like this. 
simply press enter to complete it and also for this one. Then select the selection tool, select all of these parts and select the value of stroke width to 35 points and reduce the value of opacity to 50%. Then select the width tool and reduce the value of width from this anchor point and increase it from this one. Also for this shape, again select the selection tool, select only this shape and make another copy by holding down the alternate key. Go to reflect tool, select vertical then select OK. Once you are done, simply select all of these parts, go to object, path and select outline stroke. Then select the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse like this. We does not need the fill, so we will cancel it by clicking on this icon and assign it a stroke color like this blue color. Now select the selection tool and we will simply adjust the geometry of this ellipse. Select all of these parts, then select the shape builder tool and we will delete the unwanted parts by holding down the alternate key. Press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area. And then select the direct selection tool, select this shape, then select the delete anchor point and delete these two anchor points. Again select the direct selection tool, select this anchor point and drag it like this. And to reset the page view, simply press Ctrl plus 0. Now select all of these parts, go to object, select compound path and make. Then increase the value of opacity to 100%. Now we doesn't need the sketch, so simply go to layers and hide this sketch layer. And now it's time to apply the colors. So simply select the gradient tool, click once on this bar, then select this white color, select this menu and select RGB. And select the value of RGB color code to FFA30B. And for this one, Again select the RGB colors and select the color code to FF2A2A. After that select the type tool, left click and write the logo name which is Keto Prime. For the font I am going to use Mont Semi Bold. Select only this prime and change the color to this gray color. And to check the feasibility of our design in dark backgrounds, simply select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this anchor point to this one. And apply it a black color. Then simply select this logo and make a copy by holding down the alternate key. Right click, go to arrange and select bring to front. Then select this keto and apply this white color. I think that our logo is working fine in both white and black backgrounds. Finally, I presented the client with two different design ideas. One with the phonics design and other with a butterfly. And the important thing is that the client finalized the butterfly design. You can also share your thoughts about your favorite design in the comment section. And if you think that this video helps you in some way, then like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.